welcome to the Pentakill Season 4. We've got, no, no, no. We've got Tilt Over Firelight against the Bilgewater Powder Monkeys. And it's gonna be cool. I'm I'm here with uh, DJ Steve once again. We're doing the back to back. Yeah, howdy, howdy. The uh, two hardest working streamers. Uh, actually, scratch that. Players in the league, both. Uh, I, by far. I, I can't. I can't. I'll say number two and number three because Nolbe, <laughs> Nolbe did like six streams by himself back to back. Yeah, but he's not a player, so he's no one void. That's true. You know what? You're right. I rescind that. Uh, yeah. Fuck Nolbe. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, pick and ban. Let's pull it up. Bing, bang, boom. Here we go. Uh, PF is on blue side, banning out Zillion, Shaco, and Mila. BPM responded with the Karthus, Velkaz, Lux. Then we got uh, Kindred first pick for Kev, responded by Seraphine Crumble, um, into Tarek Swain and Sibber. And then Sion ban, Mordekaiser ban for PF, and Vex NF bans for BPM. Poppy Ash being picked up by PF and Nar Galio being picked up by BPM. So I think we're seeing a lot of uh, un no expected picks like the Kindred, the Tarek. Uh, I'm not surprised to see Seraphine being taken away, but Swain and Ash for PF is quite interesting. Oh, by the way, Storm Shield is subbing again for PF. Oh yeah. Um, so no surprise that he got Poppy. But Swain and Ash, it's going to be Swain mid for Jill. I know she's been playing it a little bit. And Ash for Avion, which I think is his favorite ADC, but we don't really see him play ADC too often. So that yeah, cool. I'm, I'm a little surprised not to see like the Vigar come out. Um, so maybe he's trying to prove the haters wrong, that he can also play ADC, just like as a preference mm -hmm. for, for APCs. Um, I think that'd be cool if he, if he shows everyone wrong, because I've certainly talked a little shit. <laughs> so if he proves me wrong here, that's great for him. Good. Yeah. Uh, two pretty good team comps. Maybe, well, no, I was going to say some, some short range out of PF, but actually uh, it's looking pretty good on both sides. Seraphine. Nar Siver uh, have some range to them. Kindred and Ash and Swain all have a decent range. So it's going to be a slap fest for sure. It'll be sweet. It'll be cool. It'll be everything we've been dreaming of. Yep. And we got uh, we got Friday Nighty Daddy um, on his comfort pick, the Galio. Um, lost the Shaco, of course, but we got the Trundle in that place. And then Chup on his comfort pick, Nar, which um, I mean, at least. From what I saw in customs, he was fucking nasty on. So let's hopefully he can um, pull that together. It's gonna be tough because if Poppy gets in there, he's, you know, he's got to stay there for a while when that W comes up. Very true. So uh, as far as records go, I think PF is yeah. at like seven wins and BPM is at four. Yeah, I think, I think so. this has fairly significant playoff implications at least for bpm i think, I think they gotta win yeah pf is for sure in playoffs i think uh bpm if they get to five i think that guarantees a playoff spot and it would lock i think it would lock all the playoffs at that point potentially uh i think there's some wonky stuff like um i think dj if they beat us would have to play against Mocha's team or something like that for yeah. a tiebreaker there's there's something weird with that i was just talking to squirtle or uh, under my wing. It's basically, there's a lot of teams with three wins, so getting yeah. to five is a very, very good thing. We'll put it that yeah. way. Yeah, uh, so BPM wins this. They're feeling real good um, after their... We, we can just come out and say a pretty, pretty horrendous start. So, um, if they make playoffs, that'll be pretty awesome for them. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think they'd be happy to do that. Uh, we're gonna get into the game here in just a hot second. Uh, if I can pull it up, it's and then our, our fearless sometimes. our fearless commissioner tells us that the Zon Underground and Noxon Warlords game also matters. To what degree? Yeah. I don't know. It it's is the Zon vague. Underground uh, is the team that is also potentially getting five wins. Um, okay. I think they're also currently at four, so they are. I think BPM and Zon are potentially the the gate wardens trying to mm -hmm. hold those playoff gates shut. So if yep. you both drop games, it's going to be harder to keep those gates shut. For sure. And um, I think on the side of BPM, the 
at least in my eyes right here, the key to victory is avoiding a 5v5 at all costs. <laughs> because mm -hmm. how the fuck are you going to kill this team? Uh, yeah. I mean, both sides have, like, really good extended team fights. Mm -hmm. The the Tar Kindred makes it kind of scary, you know, with, uh, like, it's really easy to just, like, pop Kindred ult. And the only problem with Tar ult is that, like, it sometimes the timing is wonky, right? Mm -hmm. But with Kindred ult, it's very easy. It's yeah. like you drop you Kindred ult, wait, and then you wait, wait a, like second. a second. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you pop Tarik ult, and you win every engagement. Yep. But you are against... Seraphine Sivir. Like, they have really good disengage. They have really good peel when it comes yeah. to just, like, running around a fight, staying healthy, staying alive. They've got Trundle Pillar. They've got a fat taunt. They've got Gnar. You know, they've got the tools. Yeah, and we were talking about yesterday a play that we want, we, we really want to see. What I want to see out of this game, and I don't know if it's going to happen. Oh, wow. We, we're is, uh, already 40 seconds in the game. Is Chup knocking fucking everyone out of a Kindred ult? How sick would that be? That would That's be super sick, actually. <laughs> if Chup manages to do that, it would be super, super sick. That's uh, that that's, well, then you know. That's my eye in the sky, ho hopeful play, uh, sponsored by. Where are you today? Tai Tai Kitchen in uh, in Oaklawn, Dallas. It's More Dallas sponsors coming out. We knew yep. it would happen. It's not quite playoffs yet, but you know what? We're happy to accept any money that we get from the Dallas area. Everyone's been talking yep. about the economic boom of the uh, you know Texas region for the past few years, so it's good to get a little bit of that in our yeah, pockets. Yeah, I'm just a salesman at heart. Wherever I go, I'm repping this league, and we just keep getting money from them. It's crazy. Anyway, Galio against Swain mid. That's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, Poppy, Nar top, potentially interesting. Yeah, I'm wondering. But with... I want to see Avion. We're going to get – yesterday it was no ADCs. Today it's two ADCs. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm thrilled about that. I'm kind of curious about the interaction between Swain and Galio, like how Galio's passive comes back up and everything, if that's like long enough for um, – Turn the game sound up a little bit. There we go. No worries. If, if that's long enough – yeah, getting a good trade in, dodging it out. But um, if that passive is long enough to kind of come back before a full Swain combo – Probably not, but probably between two of them, he comes back up and then he gets a free trade on, on Galio's side. Unless I'm like smoking crack and it's a lot longer cooldown. The, the Galio passive, I'm just not sure. Hey, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. I don't play any of those champs. They're all ugly to me. Hell yeah. I do I do know that Jill is playing Crystal Rose Swain, which has uh, an invisible pullback. Right? That thing is oh, that's right. yeah, dog yeah, yeah. awful to see. It's not just me. I'm just the loudest complainer. All right, look at that thing. She's hit two in the past ten seconds already. It's insane. Right. And we do have a gank Trundle mid, gank so direct the camera could. Uh, she flashes. Oh, good flash from her. Flash. She Wait, still no, gets Friday, get out of there, brother. Kev is there. They might. Oh, she gets another root and a pull. He's definitely he gonna flash. die. That's first blood going to Kindred. And uh, let's check and see if he's got a mark. He has zero. He did not. He did not uh, mark him. It was Trundle that was marked. But hey. Who's, Ooh, who's a little sidestep from them there. It's going to be some big damage Ooh, there. Avion taking so much poke under his own tower. Under his own tower, that feels like shit. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's gonna he, he's got to get out of the Karthus mindset where it's okay to run into them and die. <laughs> got to make sure yep. as ADC it's the complete opposite. You know? Unless you're Chup getting that mark, so expect a gank shortly. Well, that's the thing with Kindred. It not necessarily. Like you can mark yeah, one you could, side you could and mark just someone like and, yeah, mind game yeah, yeah. them, go the other way, you know. Which uh, is what he's doing right now. We've got Freddy Nighty he, Daddy he flashing away time, so he's fine. from yeah. mid. Yep, they're uh, actually moving up. They don't. Directed camera doesn't care about uh, marks and scuttle crabs. They are trying to fight it. Jill is uh, gonna walk down as well. Red t red side is gonna get the mark away from Kindred. So still zero marks, I think. Yeah, and I think Kev's shown a lot of faith in his team and listening to his calls, which they usually do uh, with Kindred, because I used to play that guy quite a bit, and I kind of had to stop in solo queue, because if no one's listening to you to help you get marks, it's just a yeah, it can be crap, really crap shoot. And then, heaven forbid, the other team is like communicating and taking away yeah. all your marks. <laughs> then, then you get just that, that's like a leave the game type thing. For sure. Potentially seeing a gank on the storm shield here, but he's just backing off, making sure he's staying safe. Yeah, um, it looks like 
Kev is really liking this mid lane and um, kind of saw how Fratty went in there a little recklessly at first. Um, props to Fratty though for realizing he was dead because that kind of saved him not flashing because mm -hmm. um, they came right back and uh, he was able to flash out and survive. And keep up and farm. Nothing too crazy happening. Yeah, hopefully uh, we see some more action develop as the first dragon of the game comes up. And with that, I'm going to press the dragon key so we can actually see what it is. We're going to have a Cloud Drake, which, uh, as we said last night, kind of underwhelming as a soul, <laughs> but it won't be a soul, so it's okay. There you go. If you had to guess. Actually, Cloud Drake for this team, like for red side, is like super good on... Mm -hmm. On like Trundle and Sivir and Seraphine, like those champs love that shit. On Swain, yeah. like Swain loves Cloud Drake. I gotta be careful And engage onto Mickey, the Seraphine taking Ignite. There's no mana. There's a lot of return damage from Healy Skater, putting that Sivir damage to work, putting that Call to work. Especially, he's got no damage items. <laughs> yeah, Kev's right, got uh, Kev. Galio marked, but he's not going for Galio. He's sweeping the bushes. Seraphine's still out of mana. Let's see if they turn around and they go for it. Are they getting baited? Nero's walking forward, forces the flash out of Seraphine. There's the Swain W saying, hello, I'm participating. Kev's taking a lot of return damage, trying to see if he can get the kill onto Sever. She pops the spell shield, Oof. nothing's gonna come of it. All right. Ooh, a flash forward from Trump. He just ult Storm Shield out of nowhere. Direct camera, thank you. I would have missed that any day of the week. A good flash from Storm Shield to stay alive under his own tower. Wow. Yeah, we spent, we spent hours flaming directed camera, and um, it came in the clutch there. Yeah. Cool, and uh, Piltover Firelight's going to pick up the first dragon of the game. Trundle is nowhere near it, does not want to contest. I think he's doing Scuttle Crab up there yonder, trying to keep a mark away. Yes, he is. Yep, very nice. I think that could be considered worth. You give up one Drake to make sure uh, he doesn't get any marks. Yeah, and in the immortal words of Tupac has no GA, um, dragons are fake objectives early. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much validity there is to that, because he, he played at a much higher level than I do. They're an so investment. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, you, you can play around. If you get one or two dragons early, you know, you don't necessarily get stats from them that are helpful, mm -hmm. but they can let you, like, force the opponent to play in a certain way. For sure. Because once you get to that 3-4 dragon mark, they have to go get the dragon, or else you will be in a really good position. Yep. And you can choose to, like, go do some, something else elsewhere on the map, or if you're strong, you can force them to contest it, or you just get, you know, free free money, free value. Yeah, it seems like Chup is kind of sniffing something out here. Um, he's playing a little more tentative, um, but also he's in the Mega Nars, so that's kind of move. Jill, half just, HP, low on mana. Post McClone hanging out mid. Kindred is coming up behind them. So is Tarek. She's on a pink ward, though. Chup's walking down. I feel like this is a powder keg. Like, something... We're gonna see, like, mm -hmm. a 4v4 in a second. Yep. And wouldn't that be... Okay. Yep, and there's Chup wouldn't that be appropriate for the, the powder jungle, monkeys? Attacking Kev, who is level 6. There's the Galio here, here ult coming comes. in. Kindred ult dropping. Making sure nobody goes down yet. Chup is walking out. He's got the Mega almost there. Kindred's coming back in. Oh. Jill picks up the Chup kill. Meanwhile, Storm Shield's taking so much damage from the two big boys in the back. Jill's ulting in as Swain, doing as much damage as possible. There goes Post McClone on one pop. Freddy Natty Daddy's going to come back in, pick up the return kill onto Jill. Kev's going to pick up the final kill of the 3v3. Wasn't quite the 4v4, but now Bot is getting interesting. Avion gets hit by the Fat Charm, but not enough damage. His target just keeps on healing. Whiff is the stun. He's got to flash away. I don't think anybody's going to die today. Wow, that was a lot. Yeah, that's the, that's the magic of Tarek right there. So it's like, Kev is happy. He's got, you know, he, he's clean. He's got two kills. Uh, I think mm. he finally got a mark. Uh, yeah, he's got one. He gets... Did Chup just fail that E? He gets a really fast recall. Uh, yeah. Courtesy of Rift Herald, though. Yeah, you know who else got a real fast one? Was uh, anyone that died. Yeah, at least he doesn't give the enemy gold. But yeah, know. yeah, interesting play by Kev there. Wait. Okay, so Steve got that post McClone. Uh, post got. Wait. Got rift. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was like, okay. nobody got the kill. No, uh, no, no, yeah, of, yeah. Uh, Steve, he's going top saying hi to Storm Shield, who's getting stunned by Chup at the moment. No, nope, no flash. His uh, buckler, is that what they call it? Ooh, a nice ult onto the trundle, actually. I don't think he's going to make it out. He is. Chup's not going to keep pressuring him. He just gets a great poppy ult, and he's out of there. That was fantastic. That just shows the mastery of the champ that he has there. Yeah. Kev, I... Uh, Oh, wow, that was, that was completely blind. Just getting spotted blind spotted. by the Galio. He's uh, moving instincts. over to his mark. They've got three to collapse on him. Is he gonna get it? That's the question. There's no ults from the, the bot side. There's Ashiro the smite a little out. early. He does get it. Jill is currently stunned. Freddy Natty Daddy's taking a ton of damage. They get the mark and the kill. Yeah, no ultimates on the side of uh, of Powder Monkeys. So that, ooh, That's what ooh, I was talking about, shove. man. You can't get away like that. Maybe he can get Mega. No, maybe. If he gets Mega, he doesn't have ult, but he will have a oh. buckler to the face, and he dies. Right to the face. Yep. 0.5k up now for the Firelights. They're just slowly starting to get some gold in their pockets. And I think Kev is now at 3? No, he's still at 2. He just marked Seraphine. Is there anybody else with stacks in this game? No. No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. The only stack. I just want a big Kindred stack counter just on the side. Yeah, I wish they'd do that for champs like that. Yeah. Mickey, no fear. I'm taking out that ward saying, come at me. Yep. I mean, when they have uh, they have the ults here, they're going to start looking for them. There's the target ult early. The charm hits one. He is going to have it. the target ult, keeping him alive, but it's, it's too target. little too late. Love to see that on Healy though, that yeah. kill. Well, it's not on Healy, so. No, it's, that's what yeah. I'm saying, you'd love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are going to pop Harold Bot, see if they can get some plates. Kev is here. He's They're got the Seraphine marked. He's got the ultimate in his pocket. What's it going to be? Is he going to go get her? He's she's just running. There's the Ash Arrow that whiffs just a little to the left. I don't think he's going to kill Seraphine. Oh, never mind. Nice. He's just going super hard for it. Yeah, he's going to ult in. They're going to try to get a return kill. He's going to pop his ult. No freaking shot. He makes it out of here. Gets a taunt. There you go. A fat shutty goes over to the Trundle, who is now a big beefy boy. Oh, yeah. Storm Shield getting ulted into the tower. Wow, he's actually taking so much damage. He's going to ult oh to keep God. himself alive with no HP. Dude, as... Storm Shield was made for this team. Yeah. <laughs> like, the poppy here is so good. Yeah. With, with all the just never say die ch champs that they have I think I mean there's also uh, PF likes to play the uh, here they're actually playing an ADC but they like to play the mages and stuff like that some kind of mm -hmm. immobile like high DPS stuff oh my god storm shield yeah he got, oh oh there's the flash force from Trump he's gonna get the third auto oh, oh, and kill shot. him wow these top he's, laners yeah, finally I'm for sure. once direct hit camera is not disappointing Chup saying, hey, my girlfriend carried the last game as a sub. It's, it's my turn. But yeah, PF tends to like to play these like immobile high DPS mages and uh, and team comps. And I think a poppy is like super good into that. Mm -hmm. Well, with it, rather. You you know, kind of disable all the dashes, all the all the stuff that wants to jump on you, and you force people to just sit around and all the AoEs you put on the ground. Yep. Yeah, gold... Uh, is actually after that shutdown swings into the BPM Holy shit. favor. Yeah, one point six. I think Trundle's yeah five point five k. He's still a little bit behind Kindred. Who's got the money? Chup's got the money, and oh, Healy Skater's got the money. Yeah, that the bot lane. A, the bot lane. That could has be an money. issue. <laughs> hey, a strong Sivir is super good, especially yeah. when you don't have like you have quote unquote engage with an Ash Arrow, but Sivir just spell shields that, you know. Mm -hmm. Here it is. And then there's nope. and hey, he was about to. What a what a great bait. <laughs> you go spell shield down, spell shield down. Kev going pretty aggressive here. It's not feeling the danger. Yeah, dare I say a little oh, frustration coming out a, here in the mid lane? Are we gonna see a fight? We're not. Take both teams being I was gonna say both teams being respectful, but Kev showing <laughs> That uh, he's listening to the casters right now, saying <laughs> "fuck these guys." Just listening three everybody. minutes in advance. Oh, oh, a good like... flash stun by Nero gets the trundle. Are we going to see a shutdown? Shut Go onto the kindred. Oh. That's exactly where you want it. 
And they're going to start taking me. control of this jungle. Jill popping Swain. a hole, but not hitting anything else. Swain feeling no pain there. He, she took a cue to the face and didn't do anything. My god, that is so much damage. Oh, he gets clipped just by the edge of that. Did that stun, or did he stop walking? It looked uh, like he was out of the stun, but I didn't see the stun animation. The Poppy's stun is pretty deceptive, but I, I thought yeah. she, I thought he got stunned. Avion? Ooh! Oh god, the charm length is so long. I think he dies even without the charm, but he gets a return kill. Yeah, That's and maybe more. super good. Nah, nah, they're, they're safe. And... Gold is still so ahead, much, right? so much has happened. All right, maybe let's. I, I don't think he dies to it this time. All right, let's just okay. Let's keep an direct eye. Direct your camera. Direct your camera. Let me watch. I want to. I want to see. Harold secure. We're good. All right, mark counter five. He, it's it's starting to go. Seven's the next uh, big break point, I think. Yep. Four. Right, yeah. So he has how many stacks? Five? Five, yeah, yeah. And it goes on fives, right? No, it starts at four, and then it's every, I think, two or three after that. Okay. Yeah, every three after that. So seven is a big break point. Because he'll get, like, increased range and all that good stuff. <laughs> cool. We got a game on our hands. A still, oh, yeah. still a very, very slight gold lead. About 900 gold for, uh, for BPM here. It's yeah, that, that's got to be in the uh, the Sivir 33 uh -huh. CS advantage. Yep, Sivir hasn't died 31. yet. Has the mythic and a half. Has the coal as well. That uh, that popped gold, which helps. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if they can peel for her and and have her do a bunch of damage. But. I can see it. Six five and, five. Hey, six and two kindred ain't no slouch. That shit hurts. Yeah. Oh, and it'll be Infernal Soul, which is interesting. Got to be a ton of damage. There's a Trundle going on to Jill while Kev tries to tackle the uh, the bot lane of BPM by himself. He's gonna pop Harold mid. We'll see if they oh, can no, interact no. with that at all. There's the root going down on Jill. Maybe we see a Fat Charm to stop it, or they just let it go down. There's an arrow. He doesn't get spell shielded. There's the Charm under tower. The tower goes down. There's the Galio ult as Healy Skater flashes away. There's All the right. Tarakult, kind of prematurely, possibly. Nothing quite happening. Healy Skater gets super, super low. Nobody dies. They get the tower. This is good for PF. They get the tower, they force Healy Skater to back, and they might be able to just go get Dragon, which I think is their target. Yeah, and something to note here, uh, I believe we talked about it, or at least Nolan and I did the last time Nikki played, um, going with a Rylai start. Uh, I believe that will root someone with just one E and will straight up stun someone with uh, the W. Ooh, Chubb goes in, a fat ult. He gets four, does not stun one of them. They're doing so much damage to him, he dies pretty much immediately. There's the Trundle trying to whack away. He also goes down. Jill gets a double kill. Nero's on the skater. back trying to get as many stuns as he can. Freddy Natty Daddy possibly got a burn. Yes, he is for a triple. He at least still alive. Jill is a menace. Holy shit. They get the dragon, Chup goes in for the hero play, and it just doesn't have quite enough damage. Yeah, a little little premature. They're fighting without the sitter. Um, they got so much damage down uh, before he even got there. Damn. That's a... Well, it's not even that big of a swing. It, it was 900 gold for BPM, now it's 900 gold for... Uh, mm -hmm for PF, but if that's what happens when you're down in gold, imagine what happens when you're up yeah, in gold. Yeah, exactly. I fear that this is a big turning point in the game. Mm -hmm. we'll I see if, Hey, we'll see. Maybe BPM can, you know, hunker down. No, Healy's gonna get a little bit more Not fight over stuff pocket. they don't need to fight over. Just make sure that their carries get gold in their pockets. Healy still hasn't died. He's 40 CS up. He's, you know, he just needs some more money. He needs some items so mm -hmm. that he can start chunking through these, these carries. At what point do you sell the coal? Like at five items or just until you can afford one? Uh, I mean, if there's an item like breakpoint and you need a hundred gold, 
Mm -hmm. If you're like, hey, I'm a, I'm a hundred gold away from IE and Baron's up and they're looking, like you sell the sell the coal by IE, obviously. Yeah. But outside of that, you know, you no, know, just keep it until until you need the slot. BPM uh, potentially just getting the tower here. It's kind of it it feels like they're more behind than they are, so it's like there's no bounties or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just the the engages that. PF and middle to put together yeah. have been or counter engages in the case of that in case of that dragon fight because oh possibly target getting caught here double charm oh my oh, nice. god he dies Lona. immediately that's why there's no bounties in the game there's a TP coming in uh, this is so much damage going down on a post McClone is he gonna die immediately he gets stunned by the ash arrow storm shield going in he's gonna take him down there's oh Chup whiffing the ultimate. There's the Galio coming down on him. They are delivering damage. Galio is gonna pick up the Storm Shield in return. They are just fighting under this tower. Well, can you even call it under the tower? You remember yeah. when we were talking about whether or not they have range? Uh, yeah, they have range. Jill flashes in. Ults is on a rampage. Gonna pull the Seraphine back. They're gonna just clean it up. Ash goes down. It's a ace for two. And now the gold lead's starting to starting to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that dragon fight was the beginning of the end. Uh, I think Kindred must be at I uh, eight stacks now, so got one of those he, great points. He is he's hurting. One auto, one Q auto is doing like yeah. three quarters of the health of the more squishy people. Yeah, not Insane. too long ago, Trundle still had slightly more gold. Uh, now it's not even close. Kev has 11,000 gold, and Trundle doesn't even have 8k. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, he has so much money, holy shit. <laughs> Maybe maybe a Nar ulting Kindred out of her ult is the only way that they that they just win anything at this point. Yeah. Potentially seeing mid. There's the arrow that does not connect to anything. Kev is the arrow now. He just does damage. No CC. Alright. Top turret finally goes down. There's a fat wave pushing in. Dragon coming up in 30 would be the third Drake of the game for PF. But they're just looking for a fight. Mickey's a little bit out of position. Seraphine goes down immediately. They're looking for more. They get one stun. They get two roots from Jill. There's a taunt. There's so much CC for the fucking PF squad. Yeah. Like, as soon as they hit one thing, it's just a chain, and you just can't get away. Yep, just when you think a comp looks kind of wonky, the mad scientist, Kev, breaks it out. And it looks really good now. <laughs> like, even when they were even in gold, it was like mm. they were being suffocated. And when now they were 2k it's just, gold down, it wasn't even. Yeah. The fights weren't even close. Yeah. I don't think Healy Skater has been able to CS in the past two minutes. I think his CS yeah. has gone up, like, by five. Which, uh, yeah. and I'm sure that's by design. Feels really, really bad. Yeah, it's not his fault. It's yeah, just, yeah. He can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Everything's pushing. You can't be in a, in a lane by yourself. Here you go. Get a little bit, Ryan. All right. Well, we need a we need a miracle here. They definitely need to stop getting caught in the jungle. That's mm -hmm. for certain. Just hunker down hope for a mistake hope for an overreach on the side of pf try to get more gold in your pockets and hope that you just perfectly execute on on a team fight where they start fucking up yep like if they can you know pop the kindred immediately maybe <laughs> like swain is really strong now too unfortunately yeah so it's like hopefully they're disjointed swain is just in a on a different continent, Kindred overreaches. They get to stun locker and push her out of her ult or something. They just yeah, they just need money. We've seen comebacks here before. 
and I we'll think see it again. like this is not a good position for them. Like Seraphine's mm -hmm. way too far forward. Like they, if they if they fight right now, they just lose. So they can't be here. And Ser look at how much damage Seraphine flashes away. Storm Shield goes in. She pops the ult, hits nothing. Storm Shield just absolutely dominates her. And this is a free Baron now. Like you couldn't fight as fight as five. You surely can't fight as four. Yeah. Everybody on your team needs to go push waves and hope that Trundle gets a steal or something. But he's not gonna. He's gonna get stunned. They're gonna make sure that the game uh, is ended pretty quickly. Healy Skate is gonna go down. And they are, oh, well, Ash doesn't hit the W, so Fratty Natty Daddy and Chup are gonna live to see another day. Yeah, that's one of those moments where it's like you're putting all your eggs in that Baron Steel basket if your whole team's <laughs> there. Like, your whole team being there doesn't really help you in stealing that. Yeah. So it's like... Might as well just go push another Yeah, you, you have to go do something else. Jill getting ulted, but I don't know that it matters. She's still taking tower damage. It does matter. They get a fat shutdown. This helps. This does help. This is good for the, for the account. Yep. Onto the... Uh... Onto the Gnar as well, which I think could be helpful if he gets a little bit tankier. But, I mean, Kindred does true damage, right? Does Kindred do true damage? Does she not? I think it's just bonus health damage. Okay. Is it true damage? I'm, I don't know. I'm, I know she, she does something weird. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think there's some, like, percent health or, or something like that on her E. Or mm -hmm. her W? I always forget which ability is which. Uh, e is her mark, and W is her wolf. So, whichever one you're thinking. E is her mark. Her mark is her passive. Um, you have to throw it on someone, though. I meant, like, the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, like, the, like, uh... The, like, three-hit passive. Yeah, 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 you gotta throw it on someone, though. It's not just automatic. Yeah, yeah, That one. That's one Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is an opportunity for Sivir to get a little more farm. I mean, who knows? I mean, this is what this is what you're supposed to be like. See what they're doing with the Baron right now. <laughs> like, it's not like yeah, it sucks that they get Baron, but it's not that bad. You have mm -hmm. wave clear. You can just sit back and farm. So as long as you don't five person die at Baron, like you're still in a in a you know fine spot. It's not that much worse. My cat just jumped on my mouse. So. Uh. Oh, there's an Ash Arrow. Goes wide. It Freddy Natty wide. Daddy's gonna stay alive. Unless. There's a TP okay. coming in. I I don't know about the TP. I don't know if that's the move. Yeah, Chup may have gotten a little save your buddy syndrome there. They're all. Oh, God. BPM is so far up. They're trying to get a kill on Kev. There's the Tarkult that oh. just saves her. Pose McClone's gonna go down. He doesn't even need to use the Kindred ult. Oh, that feels so bad. Hate that. And it's one of those things that's like, it looks close, but he could have just ulted at any time, you know? Mm -hmm. And he has GA. Mickey's gonna follow, go down. Healy Skater's possibly gonna also go down. Almost nope. certain, no? No. He's silver ulted, he's, he's running. They are gonna get the Dragon Soul, though. Kev's probably got like 21 marks now. Good. Hello, cat. Nope, <laughs> that's the Dragon, that's not Kindred. Kindred has 10 marks after that, which is another break point. Yep. My god. Oh, they're going on to uh, Freddy Nighty Daddy. There's a Storm Shield. Yeah, Classic stops sure. him from dashing. He is going to go down pretty quickly. Look at that. Auto attack range from Kindred. Doing so much. Uh, yeah. 16,000 gold. That's ludicrous. <laughs> Storm Shield going in again. <laughs> I love seeing these Tarek like flash stuns. Legendary for Kev. He's gonna flash forward, trying to get even more. He's probably gonna get it. Nope. Storm Shield gets one. Oh goodness. This must be the game. It's 30 seconds. Yeah. We've got Friday Nighty Daddy coming up soon. Chups up, but I don't think he'll be able to stop the onslaught. Kev could literally just walk forward. Press Kindred R and make sure that uh, those towers go down. Jill taking her time, taking the uh, the mid lane. Someone should tell her that she doesn't need to be mid all the time. 
Friday Nighty Daddy going down. Chop following suit. Jill heard me. She's definitely watching the cast. Gonna take the towers down and finally the Nexus. Holy guacamole. That team is a scary. Mm -hmm. Mamma mia. 29 minutes. We don't even need to do the whole MVP thing. No, um, yeah, that's that's fine. We all we all know it was Avion. Yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say it's Storm Shield. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that too. I think it was Kev. Yeah, <laughs> it's clearly Kev. 18, 2, and 11. That's just a ridiculous like scoreline. 29 out of little over four KP. A little over 14 KDA. I mean, those are crazy he numbers. Got pretty close to the Flame Horizon again. Didn't quite get it. Yeah, Kev's turning it on. He's getting his little 18, LeBron James 20, era. He almost doubled Trundle's gold. Yeesh. That's just ridiculous. All right, well, uh, PF making sure to get as close to number one as they can. I believe they have one game left after this, and uh, depending um, on how yeah. the top games go, they, they could be in contention for number one. Yeah, um, I think... It is. Uh, it doesn't matter. And then BPM is going to stay at four, so they will be there to uh, to partake in the uh, in the gatekeeping, I believe, depending on how the games go. With I think the Warlords and BCR and Zon. I think BPM and Zon play if they haven't already. I which will think be a so. Big determining factor. I think whoever wins that has a has a guaranteed spot in playoffs. Yep. And then uh, I just got word from my captain that Shreem has ascended, is locked in at fourth. Nothing can change that. So we're just fourth. Nice. Which is there's nothing wrong with. Uh, hey, fourth uh, is a solid, <laughs> solid place to be. Yeah, fourth, just a little below bronze. You know. That's good. The bronze that's, medal. That's that's a good safety. All right. Well, yeah. GG. We'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's it from us, right. from everybody else. Goodbye. See everyone later.